So you spend 10 minutes joining the crowd and still go one month? Oof, here are five mistakes that will absolutely tank your score. And how to dodge them? Like you have slow mo matrix reflexes. Uh, mistake number one, forgetting the label axis. What it looks like? X, Y, who knows? Your graph is basically a mystery novel with no title. How to dodge it? Always label your axis with variables and axis if given. Example, a time, bracket, seconds, or speed, bracket, meters per second. If the examiner needs to guess what your graph is about, you're already done. Mistake number two, connecting the dots like it's join the dots puzzle. What it looks like? Jagged zigzag lines. Instead of smooth curves, you think it's art. Examiner thing is pain. How to dodge it? Use a smooth curve for continuous functions. X squared, X cubed, and exponentials. Graph equals the flow, not like your broken shards of spaghetti. Now your graph isn't Minecraft. It's curves, not pixels. Mistake number three, using random scale intervals. What it looks like? 1, 2, 5, 7, 20 on the x-axis. The scale is more unpredictable than the MRT breakdowns. How to dodge it? Keep equal spacing. Use consistent, easy to read intervals. Example, one second or two seconds or half a second, depending on your graph size. Unless your exam paper is a creative writing task, don't freestyle your axis. Mistake number four, not using enough points. What it looks like? Three dots. One weird shape that's not straight or curved. It's giving confused geometry. How to dodge it? Plot at least five points for curves. For exponentials or one over x, uh, use decimals for precision. More points equals a smoother curve, equals a higher marks. Be that overachiever. Mistake number five, ignoring the asymptotes. What it looks like? Your one over x graph is happily chilling on the axis. No, that's illegal in math land. How to dodge it? Number one, no way your function is undefined. Like x equals zero for one over x. Number two, never let your graph touch the asymptote. Ever. If your graph touches an asymptote, it's like texting your ex. Just don't. Avoid these five graph scenes and your marks will thank you. Stay tuned, stay sharp. And remember, in graphs and in life, consistency is key. Catch you in the next series.